Hey, Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com. On today's video, let's talk about first dates. Hopefully, you're using the material that you are hearing about on the YouTube channel, or maybe my program Hooked, and you're getting first dates. How do you master a first date? Well, I wanna go over three of the biggest mistakes that guys make when it comes to first dates, and I don't know if you've heard these before. Some maybe, but we're gonna go deep into this so I can explain to you why guys are not getting those second dates. All right, let's start off with number one. And number one starts with a little story. It was about 10, 11 years ago. I remember I was on a date with a girl, and we went out, and we had this amazing date. I think we got a drink somewhere. We walked around Santa Monica. I was living in Los Angeles at the time, and it was, it was amazing. I was making her laugh, conversation went by really well, but I remember I was nervous to give her a kiss. In fact, I was very hands off the entire time, so I was more just acting like a friend. And I remember towards the end of the date, I even brought her back to my place, but I was scared to make a move. And so we're just kind of sitting there and she didn't know what to do. And she basically just gave me a hug and said, I have to go home. And I never saw her again, which was strange because we had such a good date. She was laughing, conversation went well. What happened? Well, I didn't go for a kiss or any kind of physical move at all. And so I just slammed myself in the friend zone. There's other coaches on YouTube who say, don't go for the kiss, don't go for sex on a first date because you wanna leave a little mystery. I say forget that because you're probably a guy who's already scared to make a move in the first place and you're probably acting in a way that's very friendly. So we need to get you out of that zone of the nice guy mentality of, uh, oh, I just wanna be you know, hands off and I don't wanna get rejected and I shouldn't go for the kiss to a guy who is more physical. Of course, without being said, no means no if she doesn't want to be physical with you, but you should at least go for it. I want her to see you as a sexual being, and that's gonna start from the mini meter all the way to the first date and beyond. So please, try to go for the kiss. Try to get physical, even try to get her back to your place, okay? All right, let's go to number two. This one you've heard before, but a lot of guys get really torn up about this, okay? You gotta pay for the first date. You have to. It is your job as a man. Now I know there's a lot of red pill people and MGTOW people say, oh, women just want free dinners and free stuff and, and men and women should be equal. Listen, forget all that stuff. This has nothing to do with equality. This has to do with you showing a dominant masculine trait, which is the ability to provide. Plus, you're the one who's asking her out in the first place. I'm not saying that you need to pay for every date. I'm not saying you need to buy her things. I'm not saying you need to do everything you can to make sure that she never spends a dime. I'm just talking about the first date. Pay for the first date. This is going to show a masculine quality. It's gonna show that you are able to provide which means that you have a job, which means that you're effective at life, which means you have something going for you, okay? I'm sure that you probably care about that for a woman too, but a woman cares about that a lot more. Not because she's a gold digger, not because she's trying to get your money, okay? But it's because she wants to see you display your masculine traits, which makes her more attracted to you. And hopefully, hopefully she at least reaches her hand and goes to offer to pay as well. And you say, no, you know what, I got this one, you can get the next one. This idea of taking care of her, of taking care of the situation is going to make her more attracted to you, okay? And you don't need to spend a lot of money. Go get a glass of wine, go get some coffee. It'll be 10 to $15, it won't break the bank if that's something you're worried about. All right, let's go to number three. I don't think this is gonna be a problem necessarily, but I wanna say this just in case. A lot of guys nervously talk a lot. They talk so much that they don't get the girl to talk at all. They don't ask her questions on a date. Now again, I don't think a lot of guys watching this channel have this problem, but just in case, I need to throw this out there because a lot of girls have complained to me and said to me that they've been on dates with guys who talk, 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 and it's like they're talking at a wall and the girl doesn't even feel like they're there, like they're in the room with them. They don't even feel there's any connection there. And the girl's not gonna wanna see that guy again because of that, boom, lack of connection. So you need to make sure that when you're talking to a girl on a date, that you're not talking at her, that you're talking with her, that you're having her join in the conversation, that when you're talking about something that you like to do or a story, 
I want you to reciprocate and ask her something similar so she can join in and empathize and relate to you. That relation is gonna form that connection and it's gonna make for this really nice, pleasant experience between you and the girl who's gonna to wanna to see you again. You need to have that connection there. So make sure that you're not just sitting there blah, 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 blabbing like I'm doing to you right now and not giving her a chance to talk. If you do those things, I can guarantee you, you're gonna be at least 60 to 70% of the way to having a great date. Now, if you wanna learn more about having a great date, I have a whole blog post about how to seduce a woman on a first date. And you gotta to listen to this because there's an audio clip attached to it where I actually coach a guy on how to do it. So it's in the description below. Click on that link, it's just a blog post. It's free, it's right there. Learn more about that and check that out. I'll see you in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.